Hi guys, Gretchen with Urban Healing here. Um, today is another video for our anxiety series. This one is not a breathwork one. This one is going to be a meditation one. It's called uh, Chautauqua or Chautauk, um Candle Gazing Meditation. You can also accomplish this by staring at a dot on the wall, staring at a soft light, um, just anything that takes your focus to it. It's usually used with candlelight though. Um, Trataka helps to reset your parasympathetic nervous system. I'm going to give you a couple of the benefits for it. It acts as a catharsis. It's capable of releasing suppressed um, and repressed desires and emotions which might have a firm hold on your subconscious. Helps you purify your emotions of aggression. Um, it gets rid of emotional baggage. Um, it can help you just bring calmness and just overall lightness to your entire being. Um, it also works with insomnia. It's one of the most highly recommended practices for insomniacs. It should be practiced before going to bed. Um, if you do suffer from insomnia, a lot of people have seen really great results within like the first 15 days of using this. So 10 minutes for 15 days to get rid of your insomnia. Yeah. Yeah. Cause your insomnia is most likely caused by anxiety anyway. Now the whole, the whole point of meditation is to focus your mind, get rid of the distractions. A strong focused mind can come up with solutions to problems. Also helps get rid of anxiety. Um, it's a preparatory tool for hypnotherapists as well. Um, it does work on your neural network. It neuro neutralizes tendencies like anger, short temper, suspicion, irritation, uh, resentment. If you do this for like a whole month, anxiety is also super controlled. And that's our point of doing this. It's important to remove impurities or blockages in just your um, energetic being in your whole being uh, just like 10 or 15 minutes. No, no biggie. Like you challenge yourself for like, 15 days for two weeks because it really 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 will help I mean you will find just the effects are amazing so we're gonna go ahead and get your uh, Trataka what you're going to want to do is be in a, ro a room that's quiet uh, preferably dim I have do have the lights on because I am filming this um, you'll have your candle in an area that doesn't have airflow because you don't want it flickering back and forth um, grab a pillow, a yoga block, any type of thing because you want your hips above your knees so you're going to be kind of sitting on a slant. I have a blanket because I do tend to chill. Um, like we're only going to sit here for 10 minutes. Use your insight timer, your yoga timer, or just whatever timer you want. Not the super harsh one on your phone because the timer, when it dings, you're going to give yourself per, uh, permission to come back to the present. Trataka, what we will do it's after we get going with our um, timer, we will stare softly, don't stare intensely at the fire, stare softly at it. And by softly, I mean kind of soften your gaze, let it blur out, stare softly at the fire, keep your eyes open as long as possible until they start tearing. The longer your eyes are open um, during the Trataka, the beginning of the Trataka meditation, the better the imprint on your third eye will be when your eyes do finally close and you can concentrate on that, fly, that flame in your mind's eye. You're not going to stare at the candle with your eyes open the entire time of this meditation. That's mostly for the beginning. You will sometimes, some people feel called to open their eyes during the middle of the meditation and regain that uh, flame if they've lost it, especially early on in the practice. You, um, like I said, you'll just hold that vision in your mind's eye and you'll concentrate on that flame. So are we ready to try this? Find a comfortable seat. Make sure your hips are higher than your knees and that your flame is at eye level. My flame is not at eye level, so I do need to grab some props, um, some things for it. I'm going to grab a couple board games, I guess. Do my labradorite over here. Not Still not at eye level. Hmm. Naturally graceful. You're welcome. Sorry. Right. 
that is pretty close to eye level. The point of having it at eye level is you don't want to interfere with the energy flow um, from your vagus nerve, which we've discussed. If you've seen some of my other videos, I do discuss it here and there. The vagus nerve does run um, from your sinuses all the way down your spine. Um, it hits different uh, organs in your body as well, but it does hit the entire chakra system running down your spine. So you want to keep that as straight as possible. If you do need more support, get as much support as you need. If you need to sit on a couch to do this, sit on a couch on a chair, whatever you need to do, just try to get, keep that spine and that neck as straight as possible in one solid flow so that we can get that energy going and get those blockages removed in a shorter amount of time because it's like um, a pipe that's like this is going to take longer to unclog than a pipe that's like this is going to take to unclog, right? Same thing with energy flow. It's going to be easier to get that energy flow if your posture is correct. That is also where oftentimes yoga comes in. We do our yoga first so that our posture in our body is automatically aligned to receive the energy flow and the blockage removal that comes from meditation. All right, so we did discuss finding the comfortable seat, fixing our, glame, our, <laughs> fixing our gaze on the flame, and we're going to allow our expression to soften. We're not going to stare intensely at it. We don't want to ruin our eyesight. Trataka is also, speaking of eyesight, Trataka is also um, a really great meditation for people who have weak eyes. It will um, help it strengthen your eyesight. Historically, it has been known to strengthen your eyesight. Do your best to avoid blinking and close your eyes only when it's absolutely necessary. Like I said, usually when they begin to water, they're just stinging, you just can't anymore. The longer you resist blinking, the easier it'll be to keep the image in your third eye, your third eye, your mind's eye. Work towards a steady and uninterrupted focus on the image of the flame in your mind. That will simultaneously quiet your mind. When you hear the pen drop or your bell ring or whatever you're using, um, invite yourself to come back into the present moment. Blow out your candle and take a few moments to notice how you feel. Now, after a Trataka, do not look at screens um, for 30, 30-ish minutes. Uh, just don't do it. Don't look at your computer screens, your phone screens, any of that, because you're eyes will be a little sensitive and they'll be a little more open because you did just stare at an open flame for the good part, the, the beginning portion of your meditation. All right, we're going to begin now. Like I said, you need to be in a room, quiet room, maybe a darker room. If it's dark all but the candlelight, even better. That will make it easier to concentrate on your flame. Um, no wind near your flame because you don't want the extra addition of having to fight the wind to hold that gaze in your mind's eye, do you? I went ahead and took mine out because I don't think I can like really concentrate on the flame as well as I should through the colored glass. If it's clear glass, you'll have no problem. All right, so where is my timer? My timer set. Let me go ahead and start. That's my beginning bell. My hips are above my knees. Take a minute. Make sure you're super comfy because it will interrupt the flow of energy if you have to adjust and adjust and adjust. So take the extra time in the beginning to get set up correctly and adjust. Big breaths in. <sighs> Squeeze those shoulders down. I like to do a few nice deep cleansing breaths. You guys know this from the other things. <sighs> Releasing, a little looser, feel some cracking. Sometimes the cracking in your neck and everything is just things being released. All right. Also notice if your hands fall into your lap, hands down or hands up. That will tell you if you're ready to receive something or if you need a little bit extra grounding. Mine are down today. Need some grounding.
Let's invite ourselves back into the present moment. Notice how we're feeling. You don't have to open your eyes yet if you're not ready. Inhale, slowly, and big belly breath. And exhale, notice how you feel, where you're relaxed, where you may still be holding tension. A few nice big inhales. And loud exhales. Release the last of that tension, letting it go down, down, down your grounding cord. Deep, deep, deep into the earth where it cannot get you anymore. It disappears and dissipates. It's gone forever. Inhale. Tension, worries, and stress, and anxiety away. When you're ready, flutter your eyes open. Bring your awareness back to the present. Go ahead and blow your candle out. And remember, um, try really try to avoid looking at screens for the next. 20, 30 minutes, um, mostly because the screens have a lot of blue um, blue lights in them and blue lights have been shown to cause um, blindness. And like we, we did just stare at some bright lights for a bit. Um, I don't know how many times if you've opened your eyes during meditation after you caught the image in your mind's eye or if you kept them shut. But either way, let's try to avoid the screens for just a little bit. Until next time. Namaste.